pancake to getting schooled by cops. Here's how these Karens got their karma. This male Karen was under the impression he was in a Fast and Furious movie, but the walk of shame after getting yeeted out proved otherwise. Are you even a Karen if you accept your mistake and then don't blame an innocent person for it? Uh, what? Oh, yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Next up we have this Karen who didn't hesitate for a moment before blocking this guy's driveway, only for karma to get her immediately. Since you had to leave, you're blocking my driveway. You didn't damage, did you damage it? I don't know, I'm waiting for the sheriff, I need to make the report. You're blocking my driveway, you're blocking the pump. Do you want to back out and see? No, I'm just waiting for the, for the sheriff. Why did you park on my driveway? I just parked for just a second. Not a second. It's been like 20 minutes already. You can't be 20 minutes. Wait, Why am I not paying for your car? You're blocking a driveway. You hit my car. You're right? blocking a driveway. No, you're entitled. You feel entitled. Everybody here around here feels entitled for them to park in front of the, the street. Look, she's going right in the middle of the street. Everybody feels entitled. You're entitled to block my driveway just because you have to pick up your kids? No, right? These two first. Are you a uh, body shop person? No, I, I, the picture you can see that this. this Are you a car. body shop person? Like, how do you know that's not connected with this? Listen, you hit my car. Okay, well, just wait for the sheriff to make the report and then we'll go from there for the insurances. Uh, well, you said you have an emergency. Shouldn't you go? Why you feel entitled to block my driveway? You why you emotions. why you feel entitled to block my driveway? I apologize. I didn't. Everybody did it. So no. What do you mean that everybody did it? I've been. He's playing out near Osagas Elementary School. Heated arguments over parking. That's right. As KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen tells us, neighbors are now calling on the school to take action. Why am I not paying for your car? You're blocking a driveway. This video has gone viral after a homeowner in Saugus confronted a parent at Plum Canyon Elementary for parking her truck in front of his driveway Tuesday afternoon during school pickup. The man asked us not to identify him. They do this every day and it's getting really out of hand. There's a big scratch. I cleaned it up a little bit. Here. The woman in the video says the man damaged her truck after he hit it. She says she normally parks elsewhere, but she left her truck to find her child during early pickup. We do have a lot of traffic issues here. Unfortunately, I made a mistake. You're entitled to block my driveway just because you had to pick up your kids? The Santa Clarita right. Sheriff's Station says a deputy was called out. Neither side asked to press charges and insurance information was exchanged. The front of the school faces this cul-de-sac where neighbors say there have been a number of confrontations between them and the school parents. Some of them have been caught on camera. Imagine arguing so much 
much, even when you know it's your fault. They've had to call the sheriff's department repeatedly. One time there was a lady that was parked in front of a trash can over by our house. I asked her if she could move. She moved and her husband came over and, and threatened me. Why you feel entitled to block my driveway? I apologize. I we did see a number of parents blocking driveways during school pickup on Wednesday. This is an ongoing problem that has been going on for four or five years. But the truck owner says posting the argument over social media was over the top. I am not doing anything with this damage because I don't want to cause him any more problem. But I don't know why it escalated to the two to where it is right now. We reached out to the school district to see if any action can be taken to solve the traffic congestion. But another addition to the loony bin, ladies and gentlemen. You're weird. I am crazy. I love it. I'm always going to be here. You're oh, cussing at my a, grandkids and, and telling my grandkids you're going to shoot them. So you want to call me? Because you know what? Oh, make sure you don't go cross that line. Hitman property. You don't know what the word easement is. Easement means driveways only to and from ingress. Freedom of speech. This is America, not Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Moving on, here we have a grown male Karen acting like a seven-year-old. He should have been put inside the loony bin the moment he did the ha huh, ha. Huh. Yeah, we voluntarily won. You win our wife. Here she goes. Sorry. Just, no. Just no. One more time. It's my house. I live here. No, I live here. And it's not your house. <laughs> What are you, seven? Are you serious? <laughs> Is this funny to you? Because I'm not so laughing. Rebecca, you don't show your age in any regard. Okay, I didn't make it in LA. Accomplishments of getting up, getting your ass out of the bed in the morning. Okay. And doing something. Okay. All right. You don't do anything. Okay, I don't do anything. Thank you. You're not my dad. You, you know what? Speak up. He you said, are dying all over the place. He said, speak up. I'm a failure. I didn't do anything in my life. I'm in a mental hospital. Get the f*** out. Oh, I'm, I'm going to leave. Before I was here. I'm going to leave. <laughs> How is she a real person and not a sitcom character? I don't know you. Yeah, but you're doing things. I saw you. When? You were doing drugs. Today? Right now? I saw you, yeah. Can you prove it? Yeah, I can. I can check. I was just walking. Yeah, right. Okay, well, you can't because that's it. That's all right. right I'm not offending nobody. I'm not. You're screaming at me for no reason. You're stupid. For what? what you, I, you are stupid. We weren't smoking. Yes, you are. No. You're too young to smoke. Was well, I smoking though? Yes, you are. But I was. Yes, you are. I'm gonna call the police. I'll call them on you. You're a you. minor. You're under 18. Call you're not a. Call them. I want to smoke. Yes, you are. I'm gonna call them right now. Call them right now. You won't. You Go won't. Go to jail. Go to jail. Hey, call them. Call them. Call them. See? I'm gonna call them. Call them. Okay. Check the phone off of me, or I'm gonna call the police. Call them. I'm older than you, okay? I'm you stay here. Stay. You stay here. The three of you. <laughs> I want to smoke. I'm 28. Okay, Stop it. Why are you telling me I was smoking? Because I'm older than you, and you guys are so stupid. We weren't smoking. Though. Yes, you are. How are we I'm going to call the police right now. How is the proof? I'm going to call them. Call them. Send you guys in juvenile jail. Call them. Okay, so since <laughs> since I was talking and that's you guys are smoking. Yeah, yeah, you guys are stupid. stupid. We were literally at Walba Girl eating. How is that smoking? Yes, you are stupid. I think we wait here. Of course, the entitled Karen thinks that people of other ethnicities and races can only be cooks or hookers. Classic. Oh, this, is, this is my favorite. She just asked me, are you a paying guest here? She said, or are you the cook? No, I said, are you a hooker? <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't worry, if I was, I wouldn't want your husband. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love him. <laughs> I mean, without him, we wouldn't have had slavery, right, guys? The audacity of this Karen and her partner to harass a homeowner on his property and still say that they're not doing anything illegal? Open the schools. Some people still need education. Hi, I'm asking you if this is your property. Why are you asking? Because well, it's private property. Because it's private property, so sir. So, are you defacing private property or is this your building? You're free to express your opinion. No, you, we but do. But not on people's property. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Just respectfully. Sure. So we're just saying, absolutely, your signs and everything, and that's good. This is not This is not the way to do it. Okay. It's private property. But if, there, if I did live here and it was my property, this would be absolutely fine. Totally. If it, and you don't know if I live here or if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's why we're asking. Oh, really? Because yeah. you live here, right? You no, said so. because we know the person who does live here. Oh, okay. So then um, I suggest you call him or call the police. Or because you're accusing me of a crime, correct? What I'm asking you is why are you... And I'm not answering you. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So you, your choices are to call the cops if you believe I'm calling a crime, and I will more than be happy to talk to him. Okay, thank you. What's your name again? I'm Lisa. Lisa, what's your last name? What is your name? What's your name? I asked first, Lisa. What's your name, sir? What's your last name, sir? What is your first name, sir? I, I don't, I'm not answering, I'm not talking to you. You're talking to me. I'm asking you the questions. Well, we're not doing anything illegal. Neither am I. Um, actually, yes, you are. are actually. Really? Oh, okay. Well, then call the cops. Thank you. We will do that. Lisa something. and Robert. Yeah. I'll be right here. Okay, thank you, sir. Bye. And that, people, is why black lives matter. That's Karen, and she's calling the cops. And this is gonna be really funny. Because she knows the people who live here, personally. Of course, this Karen's a know-it-all, but the best part has to be the fact that she ended up getting schooled by the cops herself. Dude, guys, guys, so I just had a Karen incident, and I'm pretty happy about it. Not happy in the fact that I want issues or problems or things that go down but um the fact that you know i handled it pretty well fairly well given my temper and where i come from um you know for someone to just instigate and do stuff on purpose pretty ridiculous um not gonna lie i felt a little um attack racially profiled um you know being brown this nice brown color even though my keloid won't heal <laughs> uh, but you know here it is i'm gonna show it. i recorded she started recording first um in her car she's trying to get in a parking spot next to me and there's a ton of open parking spaces none of them of which are assigned um she lives across the parking structure where I'm parked at and um, I'm just trying to install a wind fairing on for my roof rack um, and it's raining here you can see outside I just wanted to get there's an awning right there and I live right down the street so there's an awning right there I pulled up 10 minutes to to put this on and I was just minding my own business and then this happened well I come to this open parking spot very open no one around me I park here there's this car was not here all I want to do is install a wind fairing on the roof of my car because my roof rack has been making some noise. This thing, take me 10 minutes. I just pulled up. My door's open because I'm reaching to the top to the right side. This one as well. This one wasn't open. And then Karen in this crazy van <laughs> comes and wants to park right next to me and tells me to close my door. So I asked her politely if she could just park in any one of these open parking spots. I'm under here because there's shelter and it's raining. I just want to do this real fast and then I'm on my way. I live right down the street. And she insists on recording me and telling me that I'm being ridiculous. And she wants to park here. And I just asked her, she said she lives right here. And I asked her if she could park in any one of these because none of these parking spots are assigned. It's actually closer for her this girl, this lady right here, but she insists with my door open on parking right next to me, making it an issue. For whatever reason, she wants to do this. I asked her to leave. She would not leave. Now this is what's happening. I called the non-emergency line to come out. She was standing in front of my car recording me the whole entire time for about five minutes straight, just recording me. I'm asking her to leave. I said, okay, you're done. Leave me alone. She would not leave. Now she goes. 
You know you can't expect anything good with that haircut. It's like a neon sign that screams that this person has the dangerous potential to be a Karen, so stay away. And doesn't want to be recorded. Starts to walk away when I called the cops. She called the cops, that's who she's apparently on the phone with, and told them I was harassing her when I was parked here first. And she parked next to me and got out and started recording me antagonizing me. Play victim now, Karen ass, idiot. Karen's back for more. She just can't stop. She can't go get over herself and just leave. She's insanely sad. It's crazy. What's your name? I don't have to give you my name. I'm doing nothing wrong. Yeah, I'm minding my own business, Karen. Why don't you go home? You have nothing better to do? I don't care if you laugh. You're fucking insane. People like you fucking causes all this stuff. You parked here on purpose because you saw me just doing here. I'm going to be gone in five minutes. <laughs> all I asked you was to close your door. Yeah, and all I asked you was to find another, if you could please politely or wait, you could have waited. My door's open because I'm literally, I need it open to get into and reach this side. I That's it. Here. You That's don't. it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I live right here. here. What does that matter? You live here, then you know that there's a million other parking spots. You're entitled to this? Your self-entitlement yes. is crazy. No, your f***ing generational trauma is ridiculous. Your, your dad didn't love you or what? Your mom didn't love you? Your mom and dad didn't love you? You're ridiculous. Don't you f***ing go do something. Go do something for, pr productive with your time. Your vocabulary is lovely. Yeah. Care. You're so annoying. Cox just told me I'm cool to stay here. And now they're talking to her. Hopefully to tell her to just relax. And leave me alone. That's all I want is leave me alone. Mom's done. Got it on. Kind of. It's a little crooked, but, you know, you figure it out. Oh my gosh, she's crying. She's crying now. She's crying, guys. She's crying. You gotta do anything. Water works. They're trying to get the point across to her through her thick skull. She parked here on purpose. That's it. So she's trying to get the point to her through her thick skull. They're like, dude, I'm doing nothing wrong. Ain't no problem. She's mad at me for filming her, but she fucking pulled her camera out first. Like, for, recorded me for hella days before I even started recording. Damn, these crazy ass old ladies be tripping. They weren't loved by their parents. Anyways, I wish a Karen would. Who said that Karens can only be white? Here's a grown African-American man trying to start an issue out of nowhere. Put the credit card in, got my receipt, I walk up out of here and they both walk behind me like, hey, you just stole that, saying he the one that just said it. And he right there watching me. Crystal, y'all gotta do something about this. I wanna file a complaint. Yeah, well, let me get that because it's that same employee. Look how you keep looking at me crazy. You want you, you, you can talk to me outside if you want later on this evening. Sir. Sir. We can talk. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to my associates like that? No. Oh, I will ask you to But we can talk like professional men if he got something against me. You're yelling. You're doing Because, bro, you don't, you don't know how it feels to be offended and, 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 and disrespected. This is your second time doing this to me, Blake. Can I talk? Yeah. So, this, I've never said anything about you to anyone. You did. You did. But the yeah. officer told me that it was you last time. Bounce in your pocket, it's like because, but you, but you was watching. I would have said the same thing Why as well. Coming in here with that? I swiped it over the thing. Are you, you hearing me? No, I ain't trying to make you. Actually, you can step back from me now, bro, because I don't like your energy. So please, let me let me finish talking, Crystal. Listen, Crystal, it's all on camera. It's cameras right there. I swiped it. Put it inside my hoodie. I'm about to ask you. No, I don't need no bag for everything I buy from here. And I swipe my bottle, my case of water. And that's fine. You don't need Look, to have a bag, sir. But listen, y'all not hearing me out. He watched me swipe it, which means the transaction went through. He watched me swipe the water, which means the transaction went through. This Karen not only has a problem with the delivery man staying for a few minutes, but she also doesn't want him to leave. Of course she has that haircut, too. You don't have to take 
name or ID number. I need to know your supervisor. My name is Sharon Smith. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and put that down. Sharon Smith. All right. I can't give you the other information because I don't know the other information. Uh, I doubt that. But you can go through the Amazon app to file, uh, file a complaint and no. okay. it'll be like that. Okay. That's it. That's not going to work. You okay. Don't, you don't recognize who you're speaking with, do you? No. Click on one of the four videos on your screen right now.